Welcome back to our logbook checker tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to add log entries, modify them, delete them. Now to get to log entries all you do is tap on the day for which you want to add a log entry. So you'll need to have a log sheet in your list in order to do this. So if you're unclear of how to do that go to our tutorial on log sheets. Now we'll tap on Friday the 14th. First thing we notice is there is a log entry already for this day and we can see there it's got a little icon next to it showing that there is a breach. We can tap on that icon and it will show you what that breach is for. You can either tap on the breach or tap on the icon again to remove that breach. Now if we want to add a log entry all we do is simply add go to the plus sign at the top right Tap on that and it will bring up a screen which allows you to add a, a new log entry. We'll start our log entry from say ten fifteen. Now we can tap on that to put our end time in or we can get logbook checker to calculate when we should stop driving next. So we'll tap here and see what it comes up with. It's saying 12.45 because all the work hours have been used for a 24 hour period. We can adjust that end time, bring it back to say 12.30. We hit done, it takes away that picker. Now the other information down here is work hours, which is you're driving all work hours because it's the same thing. How long you've driven since a major break, because a major break is over seven hours. So we've done over seven hours, so it says we're, it's the same as our work hours. Night hours, if there was any night hours and long hours, those are particularly useful for the 36 hour rule. If we scroll down, there's some more information which is optional, but we'll show you how easy it is with Logbook Checker to put this information in. Put our odometer start in, say, 57, 8, 2, 5. Then it's got the town. When we tap on town and we start typing, you'll notice that it will bring up some, a list of towns. So if we start with L, A, V, E, R. Now it's got Laventon WA, but it hasn't got Laventon Victoria. So we'll just put in Laverton and comma space Vic and hit done. So let's put that in there. Now we can put in our closing odometer, so that might be 58058, for example, and our town that we ended up in. So we might say um, let's say Horsham. And see how it brings up Horsham. We can tap on that and it puts the rest in for us. Notice here it says we've only done 233Ks, so our um, average speed is wrong. Obviously, Laverton to Horsham is probably a little bit longer than that anyway, but we'll leave it as it is. Get rid of the keyboard. Now there's some further information here, Red Joe and name of the truck that you're driving. We can elect to just type that in here. But if we've got our truck listed, we can click on the list icon, it brings up all our lists of our trucks, and we can tap on that and it automatically puts that in there. If you want to know how to add trucks, just um, go to a tutorial on drivers and trucks. Tap on done, that gets rid of that little picker there and all the information is entered. Tap on save and it's saved that entry. If I want to edit that entry we can just tap on that and go in it and change any of the details on there. So we'll hit save. This green button on the right here is to insert an entry because whenever you add a log entry in Logbook Checker, it adds it after 
the last log entry. So when you hit this plus key, you can only put an entry in from 12.30 onwards. The green button, however, allows me to put an entry between 1.15 and 10.15 a.m. that day. So if I tap on that, you'll notice that it will allow me to put an entry in. I missed that, so I'll do it again between 1.15am and 10.15am, but we won't do that because we want a rest break in there. When I add another entry, notice that, for example, I'll start at 1.45 and I'll tap on here to calculate the drive time, and it's given six hours, which is the maximum drive time you can do under BFM, but you notice that it's already put in the closing odometer and the closing town. All we have to do now, the truck information is in there, is put in the new odometer reading and the new town end. The other thing you'll notice is that when you type in, notice Laverton wasn't in there last time, Laverton, Victoria. So we'll get these keys right. It's now in there. So you can add towns just by putting them in here on your log entries. If you add a town which is wrong, again, standard thing, swipe to delete that town if it wasn't one that you wanted to add. We'll cancel that for the moment and, and get out of adding that log entry. Other fields on here, normal swipe gestures such as swipe to delete. There's an edit down here which allows you to you know, delete several entries if you like. Log sheets takes you back to your list of log sheets. And we tap on there, we're back to our log entries for that day. There's another up and down buttons which takes you between different log sheets. So that's our original log sheet on Thursday, Friday, and we've got one here for Saturday. The work diary button is like a toggle switch that shows you your driver work diary and notice how it's filled in the towns, the lines and all the information is in there, your information at the top here and so forth, BFM, totals the hours. Now with that we can just hit on the log entries again to go back to log entries but there's also a a little menu here that now came up which allows you to email the work diary, print the work diary, email a range of diary sheets so you could email back a list of all your sheets for the last 14 days to your office for example and sign a diary page. If you hit sign, if we go to work diary we'll now notice that a signature appears there which we have imported beforehand. If you want to know how to import those signatures go to the tutorial on drivers and vehicles and that will show you how to do that. Now if we go back to our log sheet, we've got a log sheet here for two up. Now we'll notice when we go to that and add a log entry, there's an extra field using two up co-driver. All that is is when your driver is actually driving the truck, we need put those entries in Logbook Checker so that Logbook Checker can work out your stationary rest time. So if we put that on and we say we started at 4 a.m. This is your co-driver and he drove till 9.15 say. We hit done. We notice that the work hours is zero because we're not actually driving. The non-stationary rest time is 5 hours and 15 minutes. So we've got stationary rest time of 15 hours and non-stationary of 5 hours and 15 minutes. So that's the major difference when you add a two-up driving log entry. Is that switch there, which allows you to put in your co-driver's driving time. Tap on save and that will save that. Notice how it tells you that um, when we look at a, an entry on a single for a single day. It's got rest hours, work hours, 
So there was a nine hour rest on this entry between that and the previous entry. So from 1.15 to 10.15 and the work hours were two hours and 15 minutes. If we go to Saturday, it shows the rest hours here as 15 hours and 30 minutes and non-stationary rest hours because our co-driver was driving as five hours and 15 minutes. So that's all in regards to adding log entries in Logbook Checker. Thank you.